The abolitionist who risked her life bringing hundreds of slaves to freedom is moving a slaveholder and former president to the back of the bill. Having a woman on the 20 was really important and I think Harriet Tubman will tell a powerful story about what an individual can do in this country to change the course of history. This wasn't the original idea. Treasury Secretary Jack Lew initially planned for a woman to join Alexander Hamilton on the 10. But a Broadway hit about the founding father and first Treasury Secretary meant newfound fans rallying around not a woman, but Hamilton himself. You're not denying that Hamilton the musical played some part in all of this decision. I wouldn't exaggerate it. When I saw the show in August, uh, I uh, already at that point told the, the people I talked to, don't think this is going in a place like you read about because it's more complicated than that. It's bigger than that. So Lou went bigger, minting women's place in history on the 20, the 10, and the 5. The back of the new 10 will honor suffragettes like Susan B. Anthony, and the redesigned 5 will feature Eleanor Roosevelt and showcase historic events at the Lincoln Memorial, like Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. The designs for all three bills will be unveiled in 2020, the 100th anniversary of women getting the right to vote. They'll go into circulation in the years following. Barbara Howard has been pushing to get a woman on the 20. The 10 will be distributed 